Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got another 4K review for you, and this one is a great movie to be reviewing here in October, just in time for spooky season. We're going to be taking a look at Arrow Video's newest 4K release. This is Children of the Corn, a new 4K master that was taken from the original camera negative and redone with HDR. So I'll be talking about the audio, the visual, special features on this package. I'll be comparing it to Arrow's previous remastered Blu-ray, which I have in my collection. And I'll also be showing you some screenshots comparing it to an even older Blu-ray release prior to Arrow's remastered edition. So you can get a feel for how all three versions on Blu-ray look and how they compare to each other. So you know whether or not you should be upgrading here to 4K. If you like this sort of video, 4K reviews, physical media collecting, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, that sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it and make sure your notifications are on so you know when new videos go live. Now, let's jump right into the review. So Children of the Corn here presented on 4K. And like I said, this is a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative. So thumbs up, they were able to get their hands on the original negatives. Done by Arrow Films, 4K presentation with Dolby Vision and it's also HDR10 compatible. So no HDR10+, plus, Dolby Vision and HDR10. Now that's compared to the previously remastered Blu-ray release from Arrow, which was a brand new 2K restoration from the original camera negative without HDR. So they actually did go back and according to this and all the materials, rescan this movie at 4K and redo the color grading and color timing for HDR. So when you look at this release, uh, first thing you should know is that the movie itself, Children of the Corn, the way it was shot, it was low budget. It was not a very big movie, low budget, very gritty look and feel, um, super grainy, doesn't really have a ton of great detail. It really looks like a low budget movie and those are really, really hard to upgrade, right? From even an original camera negative because the source itself just wasn't that great. And that is gonna be one limitation of this 4K disc is the source. But if we start comparing it to what was previously available, starting with the Arrow Video Blu-ray, this is a, a really a nice upgrade. You don't get much more in terms of clarity because like I said, source is kind of rough. The grain resolves a little bit better, which means you can see um, a little more detail. The grain is less in your face. That 4K resolution helps kind of spread the grain out a little bit, gives it more pixels to work with, doesn't look as heavy. So that's helpful. But the biggest upgrade is the HDR. And you know, while the color grading is very similar, you can definitely tell that this was you know, the same restoration or the same team that worked on both restorations, you see an upgrade in contrast in this scene right here. This is a scene at night with the bonfire going. You can definitely see that the black levels on the 4K are much improved over the Blu-ray release. They both look great, but that contrast and, you know, the deep black levels much, much better on 4K, which is a huge benefit of 4K and HDR. You'll also notice that in a lot of the other screenshots that just contrast, brightness, highlights, shadow details, all those little nitpicky things are better with HDR and Dolby Vision. You're not getting a massively different look and feel between these two releases, but this is clearly the best that it's ever looked here on 4K from Arrow. And if you're a hardcore fan of Children of the Corn or Arrow video releases, this would be one that you should consider adding to your collection from a visual standpoint. Even if you do own the Blu-ray as I did, it is gonna be a nice step forward and the great thing about upgrading Arrow Video or other you know, Criterion Shelf Factory type releases is that even the Blu-rays still have a very solid collector's market and you should be able to sell your old copy on eBay or Mercari or Facebook Marketplace for a decent price to help fund this new 4K purchase. Now I did want to touch on the older Blu-ray release, the original Blu-ray release before Arrow did any remastering. And if you compare these two side by side, the 4K, even including the Arrow Video Blu-ray, and the old Blu-ray, you can see that both of the transfers that Arrow Video has done are far superior to what was available on Blu-ray. The Blu-ray honestly doesn't look much better than a DVD or even some like, I've been watching Children of the Corn on AMC for years during their Fear Fest just on cable. And they always have the worst 
video transfers on cable. In the Blu-ray, the old Blu-ray doesn't look much better than that. So either way, if you buy the remastered Blu-ray or this new remastered 4K disc, that's the way to own Children of the Corn. You need to pick up the Arrow video version. Any other version is really just poor and not worth your money in my opinion. So now for audio on this release, you do get exactly the same audio that came on Arrow's previous Blu-ray. So it has an uncompressed original audio uh, stereo version which is nice if you're a purist um, and honestly this is a very front heavy audio track so having that uncompressed original stereo track is nice and actually was my preferred way of watching this one because I thought that it gave me more up front where the action was anyway and then it does have a DTS uh, 5.1 but I didn't really love that because like I said, it, it kind of spread a lot of what should have been front centric around to the surround speakers. And it almost made dialogue seem a little bit weaker. Everything got a little bit weaker and the addition of the surrounds didn't really help at all. So I much preferred, you know, I do have two large tower speakers from SVS Prime Towers and an SVS Prime Center Channel. So I have some pretty good, you know, upfront speakers uh, compared to the surrounds, which are satellite from SVS. So I enjoyed the stereo a lot more. I get a little more oomph out of that, but you may enjoy that 5.1. Maybe you just are a sucker for surround sound, but for me, it really comes down to what sounds best. I don't need surround sound if it doesn't make the audio any better. And in this case, I didn't think it really did. It's a great option to have, but I'd stick with that original stereo audio. But either way, no upgrade over the Blu-ray that was previously available. So you're getting that same audio track here. Now packaging, we do get the same artwork as the previous Arrow Blu-ray. Uh, I'll just compare the packaging between these two because the old Blu-ray is very bare bones. Um, I did get a slipcover with this version. I think that a slipcover came with the Blu-ray as well. I just didn't get one in time. Same artwork on the middle. Then on the inside, you've just got your 4K disc and then you've got a small little booklet. So not the full collector's edition you're used to from Arrow with like a poster and a large booklet with 50, 60, 70 pages. This is just a short little booklet. It has a few essays. It has a few behind the scenes photos. It's probably about, I don't know, 20 pages long if I had to guess, yeah, 25 pages. So not quite a collector's edition that they've been putting out, but they're also not marketing it as that. But just know if you're looking for something like uh, Tremors or Flash Gordon or some of their other 4K releases, this one's a little bit more bare bones on packaging, but it is also a little bit cheaper. So for special features, these two releases are 90% the same, eh, maybe 80% the same, but the 4K actually does add a few special features, including a new featurette, revisiting the film's original Iowa shooting locations, which is cool, a new interview with producer Daniel Borchers called Stephen King on a shoestring, and it also has um, all the other special features, so audio commentaries, Harvesting Horror, The Making of Children of the Corn. It was the 80s, an interview with Linda Hamilton. It has The Disciples of the Crow, which was the 1983 short film adaptation of this story. The theatrical trailer and interview um, with an actor who played the Blue Man in some of the cut sequences. So pretty cool stuff behind the scenes. Um, only a little bit of an addition over this release, but at least they did do something new for the 4K disc. So overall, I am happy with the upgrade here. Um, especially when you're talking about you know these these arrow video blu-rays were already so good in many cases and we've explored this with like Donnie Darko which is another one they upgraded and I'm sure they'll do others as well but it can be hard to justify the price sometimes based on how much you pay for these arrow video blu-rays to then go up to 4k but this one really is by far a better experience because of that HDR and specifically Dolby Vision if you have that capability. You know, the detail and the quality of the, the transfer definitely improves with this new 4K scan versus the 2K scan. But since they're both coming from the original camera negatives, they were both pretty solid. The biggest difference is really the color timing and how much that has changed. So I would recommend it indefinitely if you have the old Blu-ray and you never picked up the Arrow video version, this is a no brainer. This this is 150% better than the original Blu-ray release. And even if you're on a budget, 
grabbing this Arrow Video Blu-ray Remastered Edition. That's a great purchase as well, especially if people start selling theirs on eBay because they're upgrading to 4K. So either way, grab one of the Arrow Video Editions, but if you want the top of the line, absolute best that this has ever looked, the 4K version is the way to go, and it is a significant upgrade, in my opinion, even over their Remastered Blu-ray Edition. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you guys can all pick this up. Be a great movie for October, just in time for Halloween to sit down and revisit this one. It's one of my guilty pleasure movies it's not very good it really isn't like it's not one of the better Stephen King adaptations but there's something about it there's something about this gritty 80s movie low budget um, I, there's something about it that just keeps me coming back to it and I, I do try to catch it every time it's on TV and I've watched it a few times on disc and I was really happy to revisit on 4k so I'd recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun to watch. And if you're a horror fan, it's a must have. So link down in the description. If you use that link, that helps support my channel, but also feel free to shop around and support any local video stores that you may have access to. So thanks for watching this review. And thanks again to Arrow Video and MVD Entertainment who runs their United States distribution for sending this out to me for review. So that's it for the review. Thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. Like I said, turn your notifications on. My videos are gonna be sporadic with the new baby. So notifications will help you stay up to date on all the latest videos, community posts, deals, giveaways, all that stuff. Notifications help. And also make sure to follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. That's a great way to get in touch with me and follow along outside of YouTube. Otherwise, all the other ways you can support me are down in the description. But the biggest way to support is just by watching this video and liking it and sharing it with your friends. So I appreciate what you've done already to support the channel. And I can't say enough great things about this community. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me. I know videos are few and far between now not as often as they were but i'm gonna keep cranking them out i have inglorious bastards here to cover i have some other 4k releases coming some really cool steel books to show off and a collection update lots of really great stuff still coming to the channel through the end of 2021 and into 2022 so thanks for coming along the journey with me and i'm excited to share more reviews with you all so that's it i hope you all have a great rest of your day stay safe stay healthy out there be smart do the right thing and i will talk to you soon